Welcome to this exclusive 360 tour of the NASA Chris A. Hadfield Rocket Factory. We're inside, the South Vertical Assembly Building, of the main factory floor. That huge blue structure, is the vertical welding tool, that welds together the massive structural components, of the Space Launch System rocket, that will fly on Exploration Mission 1. Inside, is a large electric arc furnace, that melts scrap steel and aluminum metal, and a continuous caster forms it into sheets. This is the Space Launch System Interstage, that will be part of the main core stage of SLS. It's loaded onto a transporting truck, to move the components around the huge factory. This segment separates the liquid oxygen tank, from the liquid hydrogen tank, and also is bolted together, rather than welded, to provide extra strength with flexibility. To make big rockets, you need big space. The Chris Hadfield factory has an area of 33 football fields, measuring 435 by 730 meters. It's so big, its workers have their own transport system in the factory. You might have noticed, that the floors are polished to a shine, making this factory the cleanest rocket factory in the world. Seen here, are the robotic weld tools, used to weld tank domes for SLS. You can see a factory worker riding about, on a minecart vehicle, visually doing quality checks on the rocket parts. Precision engineering is crucial, because these rockets, will hold around 700,000 gallons of highly flammable propellant, and a leaky tank is a bad idea. Here is the inter-tank flight hardware component. Inside, workers install thousands of cables, avionics and controls, the brains of the rocket. This computer will guide the rocket, on its way to the Moon and Mars, and also controls power, to the four RS-25 engines, on the core stage. If you look behind you, you can see the tank, that will hold the liquid oxygen. These two pieces will be joined, to the curved section of the vehicle that holds the Orion spacecraft, EUS, and space station components. The NASA Pegasus barge, will come in handy, when all of the rocket stages are fully manufactured. This barge will ship the parts, to the John F. Kennedy Space Center, where they will be finally assembled, at the iconic vehicle assembly building for launch. This barge has been modified and upgraded, to safely transport the largest rocket stage, ever built by NASA. Inside the bridge, Crew can steer the barge on its 1,000 mile journey from CARF to KSC, and still keep an eye on the multi-million dollar rocket stage, through the door behind you. This finished rocket part is moved by the wheeled transporter from the factory, past the workers dormitory, and down the road to the port for shipping. This stage is actually a test article, destined for Huntsville, Alabama, the main Marshall Space Flight Center, for static launch testing to ensure that it can withstand the huge in-flight stresses of launch. Thank you for watching, and for exciting news of the first ever rocket launch of SLS. Check out Exploration Mission 1, on NASA.gov.